never picked to win the Big Ten Western Division, hardly ever selected as a preseason top 25 team. The Northwestern Wildcats, led by Pat Fitzgerald, continue undaunted. Winners of the Big Ten Western Division, yes, in two of the last three seasons, and of course preseason unranked last year, finishing in the top 10 in the nation at 7-2 and two, Northwestern once again. Picked lower in the standings and also unranked heading into 2021. Welcome to the Voice of College Football as we break all the teams down in every major conference. And we have stopped in Evanston, Illinois for our look at the Northwestern Wildcats. Interesting, interesting program as they continue to compete in the second best conference in the nation and do it rather well. Let's check out the 2021 schedule. It starts against Michigan State on a Friday night nationally televised game against uh, Michigan State on ESPN. Of course, Michigan State, despite the great season by the Wildcats last year, finishing in the top 10, Michigan State knocked off Northwestern that uh, dropped them from the ranks of the unbeaten. Indiana State's the next game, then at Duke, and then Ohio. Now, I, I, I group those games together for a reason. First of all, Duke um, has defeated Northwestern the last two times that the Wildcats have played the Blue Devils. They have a bit of a series running between Duke and Northwestern. They've thrown in Stanford and Vandy. And between the four of those Brainiac schools out of Power 5 conferences, they uh, play each other quite often. And Duke, even when they've got an inferior team, has uh, had Northwestern's numbers. So the Wildcats will travel to Duke. Don't expect that to be a mauling by the Wildcats, despite a better program, better team on the field. Okay, also consider that Northwestern, even when they show up and play well in the Big Ten, in some of their better seasons, like three years ago when they won the Big Ten Western Division and beat Utah in a bowl game, they lost to Akron. So they have lost to some MAC teams as well. So the Bobcats of Ohio will be a threat in week four. Then they dive back into Big Ten play to take on Nebraska. By week, Rutgers at Michigan, Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a tough stretch right there. On the road at Michigan, I know people are just discounting the Wolverines after a 2-4 and four season, but they got top 15 talent and take out the six games. They've been a top 15 team under Jim Harbaugh since he stepped on campus. At Michigan, Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin on the road. If Northwestern can navigate that at 2-2, two and two, they still may have a fighting chance in the Western Division. Purdue at home at Illinois. Of course, the formula to win is, the Big Ten Western Division for a third time in four seasons would be at least splitting against Iowa and Wisconsin and then running the table against everybody else. They can't lose more than two. They will, however, fall short this year. The Wildcats at 5-4 and four in the Big Ten, 8-4 and four overall. So despite their inability to get through a non-conference slate unscathed in the past, they're going to do it this year. 8-4, and 5-4 and four in the Big Ten. Nice little finish for Northwestern. Here in 2021, check out our work on Patreon. This is what you're going to get this season. My weekly picks, that should be good enough. But you also get Steve Merrill's Lock of the Week from Pro Sports Info and Wager Talk. And also get this, 15 of your favorite media members and analysts that come on here on a regular basis, they're going to have their picks available to you on Patreon as well. Each week of the college football season, just go to Patreon, search Mark Rogers TV, and you'll find us there. We'll be back very soon with another prediction right here at the Voice of College Football.